Thomas and the emergency cable. Thomas loves to work on his branch line, pulling his faithful coaches Annie and Clarabel. Both Annie and Clarabel have an emergency cable. Passengers can use it to sound an alarm and stop the train, but only in an emergency. Annie and Clarabel were watching the passengers at Nutford Station. Look at that big hat! It won't fit through my doorway. <laughs> Uh-oh, noisy boys. I hope they won't be bouncing on my seats. Careful, Thomas. This man needs extra time to get on board. <gasps> Look, Clarabel. There he is again. That man. That man with his binoculars. Yes, it's him. The man with the binoculars got off again at Dryor Station. I wonder who he is. He's been traveling up and down the branch line, getting on and off at every station. Maybe he's a station inspector. Oh no, I don't think that's right, Thomas. He's always looking through his binoculars. Into the trees. Maybe he's a tree inspector. <laughs> heard of a tree inspector. Oh, you are silly, Thomas. <laughs> yes, very silly indeed. <laughs> Later that afternoon, Thomas saw the man with the binoculars again. Hello. I hope you don't mind me asking. But what kind of an inspector are you? I'm not any kind of an inspector. I'm a bird watcher. And, and I'm trying to find a very rare bird. Oh, better get to my seat. Oh, a bird watcher. Of course. Soon. Of course. Soon. That's who he is. And that's what he's looking for through his binoculars. And, and all I had to do to find out was ask him. Oh, you're very clever, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very clever indeed. <laughs> Thomas was hurrying along his branch line when suddenly there was cause for alarm. Somebody had pulled the emergency cable and the guard put the brakes on his coaches. <laughs> and the guard... <laughs> wondered what the emergency could be. I'm sorry. I got a little overexcited. I thought I heard the sound of a very rare bird I've been looking for, and I wanted to see it. So I pulled the emergency cable. In any case, it's bound to have flown away now. Seeing a rare bird is not an emergency. Quite right. I, I couldn't have put it better myself. What's that sound? My wheel! It has a flat spot now. Annie had developed a wheel flat after being dragged along with her brakes on. Wheel flat after being dragged along with her brakes on. Her wheel wouldn't turn. So all the passengers had to squeeze into one coach and, and Annie had to be uncoupled and left behind. Don't worry, Annie. Thomas will come back soon. And we'll have your wheel fixed in no time. 
Thomas didn't like having to leave Annie behind. He felt cross that the man with the binoculars had pulled the emergency cable. The passengers felt cross too. And so did the fat controller. The emergency cable must only be pulled when there is a genuine emergency. I'm really very sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. And I promise, I'll never do it again. Very well. Carry on. Thomas came back with Rocky in the flatbed to collect Annie and take her to the steamworks. Oh, oh, my. I'm not sure I like flying about like Harold the helicopter. <laughs> Don't worry, Annie. We'll soon have you back on the rails again. Thomas took Annie to the steamworks to see Victor. I'm sorry, Annie. We don't have the right coach wheels in stock. We'll have to wait for more to be delivered. Oh, dear. Now Thomas had to travel up and down his branch line with only one coach. I miss Annie. So do I. And all because of one passenger pulling the emergency cable. I hope we never see that silly man with the binoculars again. But Thomas did see the man with the binoculars again. He was waiting on the platform at Dryor Station. Well, I'm not going to stop for him. Have to stop, Thomas. You always stop at the station. I don't have to if I don't want to. Why, why should I? Someone had pulled the emergency cable again. But it couldn't have been the man with the binoculars, because he was still on the platform. I say, that was my stop back there. I need to get off the train. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Luckily, Clarabelle's wheels were not damaged. Set the lady with the very big hat off the train and let the man with the binoculars get on. This time, the fat controller was cross with Thomas. You must stop at every station, Thomas, and pick up every passenger, whether you're in a bad mood or not. Yes, sir. I know, sir. The man with the binoculars may have pulled the emergency cable when he shouldn't have, but he said he was sorry, and I think he learned his lesson. I'm sorry, sir, and I've learned my lesson too. At last, Annie got a new wheel and came back to work with Thomas and Clarabelle. Thanks for getting me a new wheel, Thomas. How did Victor find them so quickly? I told him it was an emergency. 